Welcome to Madden Science. Today, we are examining the disappearing waters of Lake Jackson in Tallahassee, Florida. From June 4th to 7th of 2021, Lake Jackson experienced what's called a dry down. During this event, much of the lake has dried up. How is it that a lake this large could literally go down the drain almost overnight? Lake Jackson's original name was Okehepke, meaning disappearing waters. Lake Jackson is a shallow prairie lake atop a karst limestone bed. When full, it's not very deep, averaging around six feet. And aside from its sinkholes, never really going deeper than 10 to 12 feet. The water from the lake and surrounding areas drains into the Floridan aquifer. The lake itself is 6.2 square miles. That's equal to 3,000 football fields, and it's eight miles long. Its catchment area is 42.1 square miles, meaning that rain and stormwater runoff in that basin will collect into Lake Jackson. When at Lake Jackson's average water level of 86.5 feet above sea level, it holds around 10 billion gallons of water. Guess how many Olympic swimming pools that's equal to. Although scientists are not entirely sure why dry downs happen, overall, it's a matter of equilibrium, of a balance in and out. The water cycle governs water balance in the lake. Water comes in through rain and stormwater runoff, and water exits through sinkholes, infiltration and percolation, so movement of water as it soaks and seeps through the ground and lake bed, evaporation, and transpiration by lake plants. These factors influence the lake's day-to-day -day equilibrium. Lake Jackson's water level has been going down for years, and recently, given less rainfall than normal and groundwater levels decreasing, sediments that often partially plug up sinkholes have collapsed and unplugged, meaning larger holes in the sinks, leading to far greater drainage out and this dry down event. Now for some data and nifty graphs. This dry down event is not something new. It turns out it happens every so often. Well, actually this often. Here are a few graphical timeline views. And yes, of course, after I made mine, I discovered this far better analysis from WFSU's ecology blog showing annual rainfall for Leon County for the past 120 plus years, along with Lake Jackson's dry down events. I was also curious about the water level of Lake Jackson and how that relates to dry downs. Here's a graph I made using data from the USGS. Everyone wants to know, what happened to all the fish? This dry down event didn't happen in an instant, and due to the not so flat lake bed, there are still large areas of waters left. Fish and other wildlife have moved accordingly. The fish that didn't make it serve as food and nutrient resources for other species, and overall benefit the lake's ecosystem. Often remaining populations rebound after the dry down as they can expand back to past ranges and experience greater resources and less competition. That all depends on water balance in and out. Heavy rains will surely help more than many spread out small doses. In the meantime, let's all marvel at this odd and interesting geological and hydrological event. Thank you for watching. Please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. Take care, everybody.